has been almost three years that we've been in direct contact with entrepreneurs. It was a start of an S-curve that we're seeing currently being ramping up. More entrepreneurs taking the challenge of introducing, having ideas, taking the step to move onto, uh, onto entrepreneurship and doing from their ideas, trying to make it reality. We directly found out that in Lebanon, we already have 1,500 ICT companies that work in uh, information technologies, software development, design, digital media. But these are all spread over Lebanon. That's where the idea came to try to attract these companies, to have them in one place, create a cluster. And on the other side is that we had some people more and more trying to produce something from Lebanon and try to sell it in the region. Currently, this is becoming a much higher growth with the availability of funds and the circular 331. In digital entrepreneurs, I believe like a couple of things that repeat themselves, access to talent, although talent is one of the main things that Lebanon has, but yet when you discuss with entrepreneurs, how easy is it for you to find the right talent to be able to be really productive. There is something, some lack of that, and this comes from the educational system that needs to be reshaped, to be improved, to be able to prepare for the real work of entrepreneurs. We had the problems, many entrepreneurs did have the problems of funding. This currently is being, uh, as is being helped with the third place 331 that we really mentioned, availability of the funds introduced by the, by the central bank. And the third thing is the typical uh, governmental bureaucracies that we have to deal with, and every entrepreneur has to deal with, with Lebanon. And definitely, last but not least, is internet. But I think every entrepreneur in Lebanon now takes it as a fait accompli, that he has to live with it and to try to, try to find the solutions to work around it and find it. We are trying to create the uh, ultimate business environment. We try to profit them with subsidized rental rates, added value services, added which is facility management, 24 hour electricity, support services, technical services. We try to optimize the spaces of the companies being here by creating shared services, meeting rooms, conference rooms, canteen, uh, gym classes, uh, every retail component that has to be present here has to bring an added value to that community. great in BDD because we are really surrounded by all of our partners and many of our clients and uh, surrounded by the broader ecosystem. Uh, we're excited to work more closely with everyone because we are physically now uh, in proximity with each other. I think uh, being based out of BDD is um, very important to be part of the community and like our building here is an example. We have a very big portion of the, of the ecosystem uh, just in one building. You have the media platform in its different forms. You have the funder, you have the incubator, you have different, uh, you have the competition. You have different players that are out there. Just um, this um, eases the process of collaboration further for the different players in the ecosystem. The nice thing about BDD is that uh, all the startups here are related to each other, so a lot of synergies can be created, and you can find a startup that's not related to technology or something like that. So we are all related in some way, and we can work together. In the future, if we want to expand, I think it's very possible that we can expand with BDD uh, and tell them our requirements, and they will surely make that happen. becomes the execution and we, I think we're coming to a very very exciting time we're seeing really a turn in the ecosystem to have really something great happening in the future.